Hello everyone and welcome to the transformation guide on the shattered glass gold bug. So to go ahead and get started here, you can take all of his accessory pieces and just put them to the side. Don't eat them. Don't eat them for transformation at all. You can choose to put them on your robot mode or you can choose to utilize them in vehicle mode, but for transformation, you need them gone, including this including this. So just take that off, fold that little panel in, and set that to the side. That will come back in vehicle mode. So this guy is just a retool of the, well, the different head, I guess. He's just a repaint of the Earthrise Cliff Jumper, so he transforms exactly the same as him, and the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Bumblebee, and, and you know, the Bug Bite, all of them, it's the same. So the way I like to start is by folding out these side panels back here on his feet. And then I bend his arm 90 degrees and spin it all the way around. And then just push it to that kind of a orientation there. Just like that. Then you can open up his whole chest panel here. And you can kind of get his arms off to the side. You can flip up the hood and close that chest panel back down. You can then take him at the waist here and spin him all the way around. That will allow this joint to collapse. Then actually, yeah, just go ahead and do that. Collapse that joint and move these arm panels back as you do it, just to kind of give you some more clearance for the legs. And on here, I guess I should show you this. There are these little gold tabs on his shoulders that will go into these little slots right here. So they just peg in. Right there and right there. And now you can either choose to do this at the end or you can do it right now. I'll just do it right now. You take this panel again and these two handles just slide into his hands. Just holds onto them fairly securely. And then there's a little peg right here. And I believe, yeah, there's two pegs up in here that'll grab on right here. So you just kind of squeeze that all together back here. A lot of people dislike the parts forming, it's it's whatever to me. So now, you take the legs and just kind of straighten them forward while pushing this panel back. Like so. And before you peg them together, I like to pop the wheels out just one click. That way they're not interfering with anything in here, but you have clearance to squeeze all this together up here. And you kind of want, at the same time, you want to squeeze these pieces together and squeeze them up over the tabs in here. It should all just fit together pretty easily. And then you can fold the wheels out. And then here, what I like to do is just kind of get my finger up under this little tab here and just kind of pull that back just a little bit. And that'll allow you to kind of close these doors on it. You kind of kind of just have to finagle this thing it, it, it'll all peg into place it's just not the easiest to like describe how to do it you kind of just have to know how to pull it and stuff but that's it that's it <coughs> that is it you can choose to put his accessory pieces on him or not it's up to you you want to see how that works i show that off more in the review for this guy link right up here and in the description but, so now to go back to robot mode, you just got to do all that in reverse. I like to start, though, by wiggling this up. Bending it back like this, and then that kind of lets you get down under here. So you can kind of get this thing out of his hands. It's not the easiest to do. He kind of grips it pretty tight. So just kind of wiggle that out of his hands there. And then, again, set that to the side. Now these arms, you're just kind of going to leave them there for the time being. So what I like to do here is just kind of pull this out like that, and that'll pull that tab out, and then you kind of got to use your thumb to just kind of pull that door untabbed in there. Like I said, with the transformation the other way, it's definitely a thing where like you kind of have to have it in your hand to get how it works. Like me telling you, oh, pull it and it'll pop out, that doesn't really make any sense unless you actually have it in your hand. But you can go ahead and pop the wheels down one click just for some clearance here. 
and that will allow you to I just kind of pull on the sides here and that splits the whole leg assembly apart then you can pop the wheel down again pop this whole section down and this little tab right here will go in between the spokes on the tire so you kind of got to line the tires up right and that'll just sit in right there so fold the tire down Hold this whole assembly down and put that tab in between the tire spokes. Just like that. Then you can come back here, separate the arms, just kind of pull them off to the side for now. And then you can take this whole leg assembly and pull it up and spin them around at the waist. Then you can pull the hood open, flip the no, I know that would be the roof. Pull the roof open, flip the hood in, close the roof. And the roof has these little catch things here that will catch on this nub on the arms. It is not real secure. They're supposed to hook in like that, but they'd naturally sit way far back on my copy at least. Then you just fold the arms around and bring them down. And now to kind of lock that arm assembly in you can take this piece and flip this little gold tab out and that just goes in that hole in his back that kind of assists in, in grabbing these wheels to just hold it a little bit tighter but i mean it's it's as good as it's gonna get and that's it i really enjoy this figure don't forget to check out my review on him and leave a like comment and subscribe all that fun stuff and have a good night